Hey everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome to Food Network Light. This is a show where we're going to take all of the wonderful recipes from all your favorite Food Network personalities, but we're going to reinvent them with healthier ingredients and cooking methods. That way you're going to get the same delicious result, but without all the stuff that's not too figure friendly for you. So today we're going to be redoing Sunny Anderson's Southern Cheese Grits. Now uh, this is actually a side dish that she made with her veal chops, which are also amazing. But today we're just going to focus on the side, which I know you're going to love. My partner hates grits. But when I made these, he was like, oh, I think I might like grits now. So I think you're going to be in for a treat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off here with one tablespoon of a light butter spread instead of actual butter. Now actually, this is a departure for me because I normally like to use cooking spray if possible. However, sometimes you just need that extra liquid. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this up onto a medium heat and let this just kind of go and melt. spread is melted now. So now we're going to add one jalapeno that I've seeded and diced. Uh, the seeds have all the heat in it, so this is going to be plenty hot without it, but if you want to knock yourself out, go for it, okay? <laughs> but just going to let this just infuse into the butter now. So that way that butter is going to have that wonderful jalapeno flavor. That way it's going to be jalapeno grits, you know, not just grits with jalapenos in it. <laughs> so just going to give this a few minutes. So now I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. You know how uh, grits, you can just never get them salty enough after the fact. So I just want to make sure there's a bunch of salt in there to start. Plus it'll kind of help all that moisture from the jalapenos just kind of ooze out into our butter spread. So, ah, uh, it looks great already. Ah. All right, everything looks wonderful. The jalapenos are softening. The butter is going to have all that flavor. So now I'm just going to throw the grits in. And I know what you're thinking, you know, you're supposed to have water in there before you add the grits. But what we're going to do is we're going to toast the grits in that jalapeno butter. Like I said, we want it to be jalapeno grits and not grits with jalapenos. So basically this is going to go on every single grit of the grits. You know? So I'm just going to toast this for just a minute to get all that wonderful flavor completely absorbed into the grits. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt just to make sure the grits have some salt in there too. I'm thinking ahead, you see. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to add the chicken stock. And actually the recipe calls for water, but when you do low fat, fat free, low sodium, all that kind of stuff and you're cooking, you want to try to bump up other healthier flavor elements. And so I put in an unsalted, woo, there we go, chicken stock instead of water to kind of bump up the flavor a little bit. Now you want to whisk this in right away just to make sure your grits don't stick together. Alright, so we're just going to let this come to a boil. The grits are going to thicken and take about five minutes or so, and you're pretty much done. So, I mean, it's just that easy to get a wonderful, delicious, healthy <laughs> plate of grits on the table for the family. All right, our grits have thickened up nicely, so I'm just going to turn off the heat. We don't want to overcook our grits now. Okay, so now that they're off the heat, we're going to add the cheese, you know, southern cheese grits. So what I have here is three quarters of a cup of fat-free cheddar cheese. Now, fat-free cheeses are only really good when they go in stuff. They don't make a good, nice, cheesy crust, but inside of something like this, it's amazing. So we're just going to get this in and let this melt and get all gooey inside the grits. Oh, it's melting already. It looks delicious. I wish you guys could be here to smell this because this smells absolutely amazing. That chicken stock has made such a great aroma in the kitchen with the jalapenos and now the cheese. Oh, this looks great. So now what we're going to do, just to finish it off, is one more tablespoon of our light butter spread. We're going to get that in there just as like a finisher. And then we're going to add some more salt and some more pepper. Just to make sure that we have some really well-seasoned grits on our hands. And that, my friends, is it. You have yourself some southern cheese grits here. So. Just going to make sure everything's all incorporated. Oh, this looks wonderful. So, so here's. Oh, can you see that? This, is, this just looks amazing. All right. Just going to set this pot over here. And I present to you Southern Cheese Grits. <laughs> now, before I dig in, I'm going to give you the skinny on what we did here. 
Now, even with the addition of the chicken stock, we're still saving over 200 calories. You're going to save over 100 milligrams of cholesterol, and the big savings are in the fat. Almost 40 grams of fat, almost 30 grams of saturated fat are gone in this dish. And I'm telling you, this looks cheesy and delicious, and it smells great. I'm telling you, you are never going to notice that this here is a low-fat dish. Oh, wow. You get that cheddar cheese flavor right off the bat. There's a little bit of the, the burn coming in afterwards. Oh, I'm sorry, this is an amazing, amazing side dish. Your family's going to thank you, and they're going to skip over the meat and go straight for the grits. So, until I see you next time, this is Anthony telling you that you too can have all the Food Network has to offer and still maintain a healthy diet. Bye-bye.